here is the atlas, or C1. First, we'll take a look at the superior articular facets, which are a little bit more elongated on the superior portion of the atlas, as compared to the inferior articular facets that are more circular shaped. The reason for this is because the superior articular facets are going to articulate with the occipital condyles of the skull. That's why they're that shape. Here is the anterior arch, which is shorter than the posterior arch, over here. Here is the anterior tubercle, and here is the posterior tubercle. Here are the lateral masses, basically these two chunks of bone on each side. Here is the transverse foramen, which lies inside of the transverse process here in here. And then here is the vertebral foramen. Here is the axis, or C2, or epistrophius. The most notable feature on this vertebrae is the large process coming off the top. This is the dens or odontoid process. And this process is going to articulate with C1. Again, that process is right here. Here is the superior articular facet. Here it is on the other side. Here is the vertebral foramen. And then over here is the pedicle. You can also see it on this side. And then here is the lamina. Here is the spinous process. Here is the transverse process. And we can see the transverse foramen inside of there. If we flip it over, you might be able to see it a little better. Again, here is the transverse foramen. And then here is the inferior articular facet, one on each side. 